Hey everybody, it's Lisa from Chevy Road Studio. Welcome back to my channel. Today is July 5th, so it's day five in the Jelly July Postcard Play Challenge hosted by Carrie Griffiths. And what are we going to pick for today? I don't know. We have been picking random cards. Just pick a card, any card. And today is no different. So, I don't know. I'm just going to randomly pick... Okay, that is one of my favorites, so that kind of makes me happy. <clears throat> yeah, I like this card. This will be fun. Okay, um, let's pick our Tim Holtz random tiny paper doll people. I'm just trying to give it a little shake up, not that it's going to matter. All right, pick, 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 pick. Uh, boys again uh, I'm sorry <laughs> I love boys but it's a little harder I feel like it's a little harder when you got these boys they're so small they're all sitting down they are in a huge canvas here Okay, I'll glue them down. That's it for today, folks. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Hmm. This really is a challenge. I put I put myself in this position because I thought it's going to be funner if I could just randomly do this. There is no preparation at all, as you can tell. And this just is, it is what it is. Make it on the fly. So we're going to put these three boys on here and... We're gonna figure this out. Okay, so I took a few minutes to go hunting. Once I know what I'm doing, then I can go hunt for some stuff out of my stash. Um, Cause like I said, I do this randomly, so I don't know what I need, but doesn't it feel like these guys are sitting around a campfire or something? I don't know, to me it does. So I'm going to put some, I feel like they're out camping. I'm going to put some trees. These are a little bit tall. I'm going to cut these out, but I may have to trim down the, possibly trim down the trunk part so they'll fit. So I got some green cardstock. I figure that might work. And then I got this awesome orange that I wanted to use the other day. Um... I don't know how I'm going to do it, though, but, yeah, I think we might use some of this for our little campfire. I don't know. Let me go cut these die cuts out, and I'll be back. Okay, we got these guys cut out. Um... Right. Not sure which way I want it. Not that it matters. Yeah. I'm gonna just be chopping this down to you barely fit. I mean, yeah, we're losing part of it, but. Hmm. I have to take that tip off too. There we go. Okay, so they kind of blend in a little bit. I'm going to ink them up. Plus it gives them a little bit more detail inking them because it's brown. Okay. I'm just wondering if I want to group these trees like all together here. Hmm. 
I'm a little stumped on this. Um, maybe put the trees. Hmm. The trees behind the boys. <clears throat> but then when am I, where am I going to put their fire? is turning out to be the toughest one so far um, I have in my mind kind of like what I I'm thinking right now but I don't know if I can pull it off I don't know this tree I, I took some of this tree off just because it was I don't know To do what to do and then I thought you know this piece I wanted to use the other day I was thinking what if like you put this orange behind it you kind of cut it out it would it kind of reminds me of flames I don't know so I might do that actually just like to use some of my little um, modeling paste scraps that I made the other day. I was thinking about a piece of that for them to sit on. So I just rip it down farther and then That's too big of a fire. Trying to keep everything like in proportion, you know, because uh, I don't want the fire over the trees. <laughs> you wouldn't do that. But if I put it in front of them, Maybe make it a little smaller. Does that make sense? Geesh, I didn't know this one was gonna be so hard. Let's get the trees put down. I like the background colors. So hopefully this will work. It's harder, like I said, with these, when you pick boys. To me, it's a little bit harder. You don't, you don't want to put ribbons or 
something lace or something. It's just boys are boys. Kind of just want to overlap them a little bit. Okay. And I don't know. I don't know. I might. What the heck? What do we have to lose? <laughs> the project is all determined by which postcard I pick, what colors are involved, and what little people, paper dolls, um, what paper dolls I pick. So I'm going to just glue, if I can, on all these little, this mesh. Okay. Just trying to keep that where I had it. Sometimes I move I move things to glue them and then I never get them right again. I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac for the boys just to make sure they stick onto that thick layer of uh, the modeling paste scrap that we made. Put it right there that might be okay I could do a little messy stitching down here still up in there so I'm happy with that I just want to bend that a little bit hmm. might want to do fabric tack with that too I do want it to stick so let's do it That really look like they're sitting in front of a fire? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it does. That's the idea, folks. Okay. Um, anything else? Let me think. I'm going to use a little bit of crackle uh, stamp. Just. That's kind of fun. Okay, that's good. And maybe a little uh, destination stamp on here. That's nice. Their destination is the woods. in my stash um, some lanterns maybe that one would be better it's kind of a lantern for camping I know it's big it's not gonna be in uh, proportion but Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm happy about that, but what are you going to do? It's too late. 
Okay, so I don't like that lamp. Um, I'm going to come in with another piece of tree. So we're going to cover that lamp up. We're going to come right, right there. Yep, I never going to know that lamp was there. I don't know, it just didn't uh, add, for me it didn't add what I thought it might, so I'm going to just fix my mistake and there we go. All right, I'm gonna go to the sewing machine, do a little um, messy stitching. I'll, I'll come back and we'll put the number on. Okay, I did the messy stitching that I like to do. Um, I really like the way this is looking up here with the different textury looking. I like that. Um, I know somebody's gonna say, oh, they still look like they're floating even though they're sitting on this camp mat. Um, I don't know. If Doing a little bit of that will help. Kind of giving them some ground. Yeah, I think that helped. I do, I think that helped. Now for our number. Um, I'm really not sure, do I wanna keep going with these numbers or pick out some different numbers? I need a number five. Okay, I found a number five in a stash of labels that printed wrong, so I'm going to cut it out. And we're gonna use that one. Okay, so do we want just the five? Kind of like it on that tree. Yeah, I kind of like it there. So have you guys been watching all the different creators making these? I have tried to check out as many as I have time for and there's some really talented people out there. I like that everybody's style is different. Like my style, I mean all my cards will, they'll, you know, they'll look very similar because my style and, and the same with other people. It's just, it's so interesting to see how a person's style just ends up in every in every card, something different, yet you can look at them as a whole and know that they're from the same person. I think that's super cool. So what do we got here? I think we're done with the front. These boys gave me a run for my money. Let's quickly get the back fixed so we can end this long video. stamp nice glad I found that and then our stamps we got orange and green and brown orange and green and brown I almost think like a I almost think like a owl would be kind of a cool. Yeah, we're gonna grab one of these owls. It feels right, you know? 
like they're out in nature. I feel like that owl would work really good. Of course, we have to ink the edges. It wouldn't be right if we didn't do that. Just trying to cut that edge off. All right. I'm still trying to consider what I what I plan to do with these when I'm done with all 31 of them. We're done. Oh, you know, I almost forgot my cancellation. Yeah, there we go. Number five, day five is done in the books with the boys at the campfire. That is their destination. All right, you guys, <laughs> this was a tough one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.